Has this happened to you? You took flash pictures and you get these horizontal lines running through the picture. This is different than banding or flickering, which you get when shooting video or thick black sections where half the picture is missing when taking flash pictures. That's different, and I made a video about those things a few years ago. I'll put a link down below for that. What I'm talking about today is really thin, faint, straight lines running through the image like this. This happens when you take flash pictures using high speed sync at very fast shutter speeds and it can happen on almost any camera. This one is taken with a brand new Sony a7R5 right out of the box. And this one is taken with a brand new A1. Most cameras will do this and ruin your picture if you take it right out of the box and just start taking flash pictures without changing the settings. What you need to do is go into your menu settings and turn off E front curtain shutter. Some cameras may just say electronic or mechanical shutter. Choose mechanical, not electronic. But if it gets more specific, find E front curtain shutter and turn that off. Now this only happens with really fast shutter speeds like around 1 6,000th or 8,000th of a second. If you're using slower shutter speeds like 3,000 or lower, you should be fine. Look at the gray area in these images. Here's a picture taken at 1 32,000th of a second with high speed sync. It looks fine. Here's 4,000. At first it looks fine, but if you look really close, you can barely start to see the lines starting to show up. Here we are at 1 5,000th of a second. Now you can kind of start to see them. So if you want to keep E front curtain shutter on, try to keep your shutter speed at or below 1 32,000th. Here's an A7R5 at 1 8,000th of a second with high speed sync on. Notice the lines. Now let's turn off E front curtain shutter. Gone. Nothing else changed. Same exposure, same flash, same 1 8,000th of a second. Another thing to keep in mind is these lines only show up on whatever the flash lights up. So let's go outside. All right, my foreground objects are in the shade and this is what it looks like without a flash. All right, so let's take a flash picture. High speed sync is turned off and the exposure is only 1 400th of a second. No lines and everything looks good. Okay, let's turn on high speed sync and crank it up to 1 8,000th of a second. Look at the lines on the gray card. The lines are also running across the mannequin head. You just can't see it as much, but you can tell there's something not quite right. The skin doesn't look as smooth as it should. But notice the sky doesn't have any lines. That's because the sky is not being lit up by the flash. Only areas lit up by the flash have these lines. Here's another one. I changed the ISO, but you still see the lines because of the electronic shutter. Here's a shot taken with an A7 III at 1 8,000th of a second. E front curtain shutter is off and it looks great. Here's a picture with the A7 R5. Same settings, but the electronic shutter is on. There's the lines running through the shot. And here's with the E front curtain shutter turned off. So, if you get these strange horizontal lines when taking pictures, that's why. Either turn off E front curtain shutter or electronic shutter, or simply turn off high speed sync. You get much more power out of your flash that way anyway. You might have to use an ND filter because without high speed sync, most cameras won't go above 1 2 50th of a second shutter speed. Some cameras are 1 1 60th and some are only a 50th. But you'll get up to double the flash power without high speed sync, which is great when using smaller flashes like speed lights and AD 200s. And you won't have those pesky annoying horizontal lines. I hope this helps. Tell your friends about Marcus Picks and I'll see you in the next video.